Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today, I'm gonna do this sack work. Welcome back. If you do want to practice along with the video tutorial, all the exercise files are available at my Patreon page. Thank you. Okay, so uh, step number one, we're gonna repair the model inside 2 ds Max. Then we're gonna export to VR scenes, then import to SketchUp. Okay, here we go. So if you already downloaded the SSI file, you're gonna find the model of the battleship right here. So just extract the file. Then inside we're gonna drag and drop. Open file. beautiful so remember to double check the textures if everything blank is okay now just simply select everything then export VR scene then you should always remember that we put the VR scene file inside the same folder contained textures. So in this case, I'm gonna paste the path and just save export selection only and export. Done done. So right here we have the VR scene. Please keep in mind that it should be located in the same folder of every textures okay so jump to sketchup then we hit the import the very scene button let me see where is it right here then we put the same folder and open yeah because everything was scaled up so we should scale down to 0 0.4 to get the right dimension and look at it somewhere right here we don't need the ladies anymore then i'm gonna choose a camera but first let's select the render output and activate the cell frame then i think in this case we should modify this parameter to 55 something like this one but i'm gonna move the battleship up a bit i think around two meter let's say oops okay so we can run the test looking good looking good yep it seems that we finished step number one okay step number two we're gonna draw the the ocean surface and then apply a ocean material to that so stop this one let me add new scene and then just draw a rectangle hit control to draw from the center i think the dimension can be one kilometer so one one Okay, something like this one. Reverse face, then rope it. So now we have the the ocean surface already. The texture can be found inside our SSI folder. The texture, this one. So just again, drag and drop. Let me move it away and uh, explode then we can pick and paste to our surface 
the dimension for this texture can be I think can be around 10,000 yep let's see how very good we already have the bump effect on this perhaps the the battleship can be a bit lower one meter let's say yeah around that in this case i'm gonna ex um let me see just activate the proportion guide and then we can switch this to two points perspective and we're gonna choose something in fact i will locate the camera very close to the water surface very close okay like this one perhaps zoom in zoom out a bit balance a bit okay something like this one then switch to two points perspective then for this uh, um, composition we're gonna locate the horizon right in front of this guy so move it down yep that's it okay for uh, step number three i'm gonna add a display display modifier uh, to the ocean surface to make i mean to emphasize the effect of the ocean even stronger than this bump effect so just select the water surface then hit the add displacement to selection and something happened as you can see the dot line appear immediately right here and by the way in the very asset editor we just uh, we just simply can see a new thing appear this panel have us to modify every parameter related to displacement effect but in this case i think just modify the amount so something like 30 see how it's not really appear because the textures is not applied to displacement as you can see it's great so we have to come back to the material editor and edit in very the ocean material so in the field we just simply right click and copy then come back displacement and right click paste as instance sometimes we have to stop the rendering process and restart okay very good it's working it's working so for step number five uh, this step is just uh, an improvement of everything we got so far so as you can see we have the um, the light is not so well it's come from this direction which i don't want i rather refer something from the right so work with the sunlight so activate the custom orientation then the vertical angle can be 30 then for sure we need to switch the di direction of the sun to this angle so we have kind of uh, sunrise okay i think really cool then I'm gonna copy a few more battleship. So stop it. 
then just simply copy this one this one and perhaps this one I prefer something to fill this gap because later on we will apply uh, an area perspective to uh, emphasize the distance between them not really not really because I just lost the camera position so again I have to redo it just locate the camera very close to water surface yep then switch to two-point perspective then move to the third guy the horizon stand on the, the third guy very good so update and now we would like to see the distance between them so we have very good effect right inside the sketchup cone volumetric environment so just activate we should select uh, aerial perspective and visibility range can be let me see 500 i think it's looking good so now we can clearly see the distance something stay behind them something far away yep but even to make this perspective look more impressive we can activate depth of view depth of view effect so the camera and activate depth of view for the fixed distance we just simply pick the first battleship and we're gonna increase this to a higher number to see how it works maybe too high I don't think it can catch the first battleship right now. Let's see if we stop the rendering and restart. It's working. It's working. But 0 0.7 weighs too high. So low down to 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. Let's try with 0 0.4. Very good. Very good. Perhaps we need mm, something brighter. Perhaps so. And as you can see right here, we have this area looks way too burned. So apply one more Femiton map to balance everything. Very good. Now it seems that we can run the final renders. Okay, for the last step, I'm gonna show you how to bring your rendering to the next level from this one to this one. Okay, so I have already opened the rendering inside Lightroom. So first, everything should be darker by reducing exposure. Okay, and the highlight goes down. The shadow goes up, white goes up, and the black goes down. You see, immediately is the contrast stronger. And the next step is clarity can be, uh, let's say, ten. The haze can be ten. And the most interesting part is this curve. So we pick three point as usual and then bring it up to have a soft dark area yep 
yep but now everything looks way too purple so maybe in the saturation down below we should reduce the purple not really but the blue a bit not too much a bit yep and then down below we have very interesting split toning so for the shadow area i'm gonna hold the all the all key and select something like this color about 200 then i will slightly increase saturation Ta -da. Ah. is it look cinematic okay so the last step is the vignette effect just a bit then finally we should add some grand to make it even more natural wow perhaps uh, the, the blue can be down a bit more and we're gonna increase the dehaze a bit more yep i think so so that's it for this tutorial i hope you will find it useful for your job and the SSI file you may find at my Patreon page. I leave the link as description below. Thank you for watching and see you until the next time. Bye bye.